Hi friends, how are you all doing? I hope you guys are doing very well. I miss you guys so much and I miss preschool. I miss our classroom. I miss seeing all of you. So today I thought I would read my giant preschool lift the flat book. Let's get started. I'm going to come in real close so you can see all the flaps and what's behind them. It's time for preschool. Let's go. Everything is ready. Find the classroom objects. Lift the flaps to count from one to 10. Let's see if we can find all the numbers. Let's look for number one. Where is number one? Look right here. Let's lift the flap and see what's behind number one. One doll. What comes after one? One, two. Do you see a number two anywhere? Let's look down here. Number two. Lift the flap and what's under there? Can you see two hamsters? This classroom has pets. They have two hamsters under the number two. And look over here. One, two. They have two fish in their classroom too. That looks like fun. What comes after the number two? One, two, three. Can you find the number three? Look right here. Number three. Let's lift the flaps and see what's behind number three. Three flower pots. What comes after three? One, two, three, four. Let's see what's under number four. Four paintbrushes. What comes after four? One, two, three, four, five. Can you find the number five? Right here. There are five books behind the number five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six comes next. Some of my friends have a hard time telling if it's the number is a six or if the number is a nine. Here's an easy way to think about it. Just remember nine is more than six. Six is a littler number. So six can't stand yet. But nine is a bigger number. So nine can stand. Six, nine. Let's open number six. Six crayons. What comes after six? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look right here. Here's the number seven. Let's see what's under the number seven flap. Look, seven cupcakes. Yum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you see a number eight? Look right here. They have a refrigerator in their classroom, just like our big builders class. We have a refrigerator too. Let's see what's behind number eight. It looks like eight drinks. It could be eight orange juices, eight apple juices, maybe eight cartons of milk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you remember number nine is big? It can stand on its own. Let's see what's under number nine. Nine blocks. They're wooden blocks, just like we have in our classroom. That's fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you see number ten? What does a number ten look like? A zero and a one, or a one and a zero? One and a zero. Here it is. Look. 10 wooden blocks on a string, or maybe there are 10 beads on a string. We counted to 10. We found all 10 flaps. Let's see what's next. We start the day with arts and crafts. Look what we made. Lift the flaps and name the colors. First, let's see what all the kids made because I love to look at your art. I love to see what all the kids in our class make. So let's see what the kids in this preschool class made. A house? Hmm, I'm not sure what this is. Do any of you know what this might be? Could be anything. This looks like a dinosaur. Do you remember before we went on spring break, we learned about dinosaurs in our class? An apple? Maybe a girl? Or maybe it's a mom? 
I think maybe this is a kitty, an airplane, and a boat. So let's start lifting the flaps and finding the colors. What color do you think might be behind the apple? Let's look. Red. Red is behind the apple. Look over here. Here are some yellow paper dolls. Let's see what color's under here. Yellow. How about down here? This little boy looks like he's making something out of Play-Doh. I love to play Play-Doh in our classroom. Looks like maybe he made a dog or a bear. Let's see what color's under there. Orange. Look at this little boy. He made a hat. Let's see what color is under his hat. Purple. That was fun. Look at all the fun things they're making in their classroom. Let's look over on this side. Look at this. It looks like she made a balloon. Let's see. Blue is under her balloon. Look at this. I think it's a girl because she has pink pants on. It looks like she made a person. What color is under the person? Black. One more flap to lift. Do you see this boy? It looks like maybe he's finger painting. Let's see what color's under that. Green. Green is under that little boy's finger painting. Let's move on to the next page. This one says, story time. at story time, we listen to good stories. What shapes can you find? Well, since it's story time, let's look under the book first. Let's look at this book. They're reading a book about dinosaurs. We read books about dinosaurs in our classroom. It looks like this book might be a square. Let's lift the flap and see what letter the word starts with. Square starts with an S. Let's see if we're right. Do you see that word? Square starts with an S. We were right. How about this balloon? Balloons are tricky. Sometimes they look like circles. Sometimes they look like ovals. Let's see. If this balloon is an oval, it would start with the letter O. Let's lift. Do you see the letter it starts with? O for oval. Let's look at this picture. It looks like it has four sides that are all the same shape. They're all, the, they're all the same size. Square. Square starts with an S. Look at this. Do you remember what that's called? It's called a globe. Let's lift the flap and see. Circle. This is a circle because it's flat. But if this were a real globe, do you remember what shape it would be? How about a sphere? Look at this window. It looks like an oval. Do you remember? Oval starts with an O. Let's see if we're right. Oval starts with an O. Here's the teacher's desk. Look at this shape. It has two sides that are long and two sides that are shorter. Do you remember that shape is called a rectangle? Rectangle starts with an R. Are we right? Rectangle. Look down here. Here's another shape with two long sides and two shorter sides. Rectangle. How about this shape? It has three sides that are all the same size. Let's see. Triangle. Triangle starts with a T. Let's move on to the next page. After story time, it's snack time. What do the snacks taste like? Lift the flaps to find out. It looks like the teacher's gonna pour some lemonade. Let's see what the lemonade tastes like. Sour. Lemonade is sour. This looks like pizza to me. It might be lasagna, it might be something else, but I think it looks like pizza. Let's see what their pizza tastes like. Spicy. These look like crackers in a bowl. What do their crackers taste like? They taste salty. This looks like some berries in a bowl. Their berries taste juicy. I love juicy berries. 
This looks like it might be ice cream or maybe popsicles. Let's see. It tastes cold. Hmm, I don't know if it's ice cream or popsicles. Sometimes I make popsicles for my kids. I take little cups like what we use at snack time and I put juice in it and then I put a popsicle stick down in it and put it in the freezer and it makes a popsicle. But I don't know, could be ice cream, could be popsicle. Look at this fruit. It kind of looks like a lemon to me, but look up here. Do you see how small their lemons are that it's in the lemonade? So it's either a very big lemon or maybe it's a grapefruit. I'm not sure, but let's see how it tastes. It tastes bitter. These look like peaches. Let's see how their peaches taste. They taste sweet. On to the next page. Ooh, I love this page. We have fun at the playground. Find the opposites. Let's start up here first. It says low. This boy is low. What do you think the opposite of low is? Let's look. High. This boy is up high. High, low. Look at this girl. It says she's near. What do you think the opposite of near is? Far. Look how far she is. Far, near. This person, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I can't see their face. But they are in. It says in. They're in the tunnel. What's the opposite of in? Out. I think maybe it's a boy and it looks like he's out of the tunnel now. Out, in. This little boy here, he's playing in the sandbox. It says clean. Look, his face is nice and clean. His clothes are clean. But what's the opposite of clean? Oh my goodness, look at his face. Look at his clothes. He's dirty. Dirty, clean. This girl, her shirt says front. Do you know what the opposite of front is? The opposite of front is back. Now you see her back. Now you see her front. Let's look up here. Do you see this girl? She is at the top of the slide. It says top. What do you think the opposite of top is? Let's lift the flap and see. Bottom. Top. Bottom. Look at this boy. He has a big ball. What do you think the opposite of big is? The opposite of big is small. Small, big. This boy, look, he is happy. It looks like he has chalk and he's drawing hopscotch. He is happy. What's the opposite of happy? Oh, look, he's sad. His chalk broke. The opposite of happy is sad. Sad, happy. One more. This little girl's jumping jump rope. The jump rope is over her head. It says over. What's the opposite of over? Let's see. <gasps> under. Do you see the jump rope is under her? Now the jump rope is over her. We have one more thing to learn. It's time to go. Don't forget your things, says the teacher. See you tomorrow. We had fun today. We love preschool. Lift the flaps to help unpack the cubbies. Do you see their cubbies look different than ours? Their cubbies have little doors on them. Let's look at the doors and see what's behind their cubbies. This little girl's name is Anna. Anna starts with a capital A. Let's see what's in Anna's cubby. Look, it's an airplane. Airplane starts with the lowercase a. Lowercase, uppercase a. Do you see this letter? B. This says Benny. Benny starts with an uppercase B. What's in Benny's cubby? Boots. Boots start with the lowercase b. This one says Carlos. Carlos starts with the uppercase c. What's in Carlos's cubby? A compass. Compass starts with the lowercase c. This one says Deb. Deb starts with a d, like d, d, dog. Let's open Deb's cubby. A doll. Doll starts with a lowercase d. What comes after D? A, B, C, D, E. Over here is the letter E. It says Ed. Ed starts with the uppercase E. Let's see what's in Ed's cubby. 
eraser, like for a chalkboard or a whiteboard, eraser starts with the lowercase e. This one says Frank. Frank starts with the uppercase F. What's in Frank's cubby? F feather. Feather starts with the lowercase F. This one says Gina. Gina starts with a capital G. Gina has gloves in her cubby. Gloves start with a lowercase g. What comes after G? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Look, this one says Henry. Henry starts with the uppercase H. Henry has a hat in his cubby, lowercase h. This one says Iris. Iris starts with an uppercase I. What's in Iris's cubby? It's a bottle of ink. Ink starts with a lowercase i. This cubby says Julie. Julie starts with a capital J. What's in Julie's cubby? Jacks. Have you ever played Jacks before? It's a really fun game. It usually has a ball and it has these little things called Jacks. Jacks starts with the lowercase j. Next, this cubby says Ken. Ken starts with a capital K. In Ken's kite, in Ken's cubby is a kite. K -k kite starts with a lowercase k. Next is Lucy. Lucy starts with the uppercase L. Lucy has a leaf in her cubby, lowercase L. This one says Mike. Mike starts with a capital M. Mike has mittens in his cubby. Mittens start with a lowercase m. This cubby says Nancy. Nancy starts with a capital N. Nancy has a necklace in her cubby. Necklace starts with the lowercase n. This last cubby on the end says Olivia. Olivia starts with an O. What's in Olivia's cubby? An orange. Yum! Orange starts with a lowercase o. What comes after o? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Look over here. This cubby says Pete. Pete starts with a capital P. Pete has a purse in his cubby. I was not expecting that. Purse starts with a lowercase p. Maybe he keeps his coins in his purse and his cubby. Next is Quincy. Quincy starts with Q. Do you remember our letters at school, our foundation letters? Q, U, Queen, Qua. Quincy starts with the Q, U letters. In Quincy's cubby is a quilt. Quilt starts with Q, U. It's like a blanket. Next is Robert's cubby. Robert starts with a capital R. What's in Robert's cubby? A ruler. Ruler starts with the lowercase r. No name on this cubby. This one says Sarah. Sarah starts with a capital S. Sarah has socks in her cubby. Socks start with a lowercase s. This cubby says Ted. Ted starts with a capital T. Ted. Ted has a truck in his cubby. Truck starts with a lowercase t. This one says Ursula. Have you ever heard the name Ursula before? I have in a movie called The Little Mermaid. Ursula starts with a U, a capital U. Ursula has an umbrella in her cubby. That looks like a fun umbrella. It has a duck head on it. Umbrella starts with a lowercase u. The last one on this end says Vera. Vera starts with a capital V. Vera has violets in her cubby. Aren't those pretty flowers? Violets start with a lowercase v. What comes next? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. This says Walter. 
Walter starts with a capital W. Walter has a whistle in his cubby. Whistle starts with a lowercase w. This cubby says Xavier. Xavier starts with a capital X. What's in Xavier's cubby? It's a xylophone. Xylophone starts with a cap with a lowercase x. Xylophone. There are two more cubbies left. This one says Yolanda. Yolanda starts with a capital Y. What's in Yolanda's cubby? It's a yo-yo. Yo-yo starts with a lowercase y. Do you notice yo-yo has two lowercase y's? That's pretty cool. And the last letter in our alphabet is Z. This cubby says Zoe. Zoe starts with a capital Z. What is in Zoe's cubby? What can you think of that starts with a lowercase z? Z, z? Zebra. Zebra starts with a lowercase z. That's all of our cubbies. All of the alphabet. So today in our preschool book, we learned about numbers and colors and shapes and tastes and opposites and letters. I hope you guys enjoyed that book. And I miss you guys all so much. I hope you liked my giant preschool lift the flap book. Have a great day. It looks like it's going to be nice out today. So if you can, go outside and play. Bye, friends.